Brickle and Digby, the two traveling dogs, are in the Silver State, you know, the state known for dams and deserts, and a city with bright lights and buffets. So this must be the Silver Nevada edition of Stop Hounding Me. Ow! Now here trying to prove that there's no such thing as luck in answering our canine questions, we have some contestants with us, and you guys are? Sherry. Jennifer. Klaus. And this is who? This is Ellie May. Ellie May, beautiful, beautiful dog. Well, before we get started, I have to ask you, do you think that you'll be so proud of your victory, you will be telling everyone, or will you be hoping what happens on Stop Hounding Me <laughs> stays on Stop Hounding Me? I'm probably hoping it stays here, but I, I, it won't. <laughs> well, no, because it's, it's being videoed, so people can just hit replay uh, over and over. Right, right. <laughs> well, I'm sure you guys will do great. You have a, a great dog with you who uh, will help you out if you need uh, some answers. Absolutely. And before we get started, though, to prove that you're ready, let's give a great big hound dog howl, or in this case, a German Shepherd howl, even though I'm not sure that they howl. They On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh! Great, great job. <laughs> Our first right. question that we have is going to be for you, my friend. Of course, this is a German Shepherd rescue, something unique for us, breed specific. But you know, there's been some studies done that dogs from different parts of the world actually have somewhat of an accent when they bark. What accent does a German Shepherd have? Go. Woof. Woof. <laughs> England. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. The southern United States. Wow. <laughs> I'm from the south. I don't know. I take offense to that. <laughs> what about Jamaica? Woof man. <laughs> Woof man. That is perfect. I would say with on. I mean, I would go with the on. That was good. That was good. Great, great job. All right, now here in the great state of Nevada. Is it Nevada or Nevada? Nevada. I knew that. You guys have a great big dam, the Hoover Dam, and it's made a great big lake. Now, whenever dogs see lakes, all they think about is drinking. And you have two different types of drinkers in dogs. You have the polite drinker and the sloppy drinker. Now, what type of drinker is your dog? <laughs> Do you have a dog or a seal? No, nope, that's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that is a sloppy drinker. That would all be right. Great. That, what about uh, Ellie Mae? She's pretty dainty. She's, she's very dainty. Now the last question that we have is for you here in Nevada. Yes. I said that right. Nevada, it has a great deal of silver mining, gold mining. Dogs are great miners because they love to dig, but they don't want to dig for gold or silver. Now what does your dog love to dig for? My dog loves to dig in the cat box. In the cat, there's <laughs> the cat box. She's not finding any gold or silver. No. Um, uh, but nuggets, nice you treat. might say. <laughs> but, uh, yes. 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 Uh, well, give us an example of what that might look like digging in the cat box. <laughs> that looks that look more like a hamster, I think. But all right. The kibbles are very small. Ah, I see. Well, I can only tell you that with those three great, great answers, Mon, that you guys have won this episode of Stop Hounding Me, this German Shepherd edition. If on the count of three you howl with me, on the count of three, one, two, three. Howl! Great, great job. Now let's see what the animals under your care have won. We have some four legger. This is organic dog shampoo. I love this stuff. I use it myself. And we have some Bowser beer. Now, Germany's famous for beer. We have Bowser beer. This is a non alcoholic treat for dogs. We also have a beautiful book called The Endless Path. This is a great book about a dog as it journeys through life with its beautiful person. Then we have the squeak and snap that plugs into your phone as soon as it squeaks. The picture is taken, beautiful, perfect pictures of dogs like beautiful Ellie Mae here. We have something great for you guys, $225 worth of gift certificates from the Biscuit Barkery of Northern Colorado, $225 worth of gift certificates. So we thank you so, so much for all that you guys do. Now let's talk about 
the need that exists. We're in the Las Vegas area. Some people might wonder why a breed specific rescue is needed. We're talking about German Shepherds. Why is something like this needed? I think that there's a lot of misconceptions about them. They get them as puppies and they're cute with a bundle of fur, but then they get older and they start needing training and tons of exercise and mental stimulation. And if you don't put the time into it, you're gonna have a problem on your hands. They'll redecorate your house. They'll <laughs> decide who they want to let in and who they won't unless you take that role as as the pack leader but you have to do it in a really consistent and gentle way even though they're big dogs they're very very sensitive they don't respond to you know you just yell they're just really sensitive so you it takes a special person to to be able to you know give them everything they need but um, in less than five years we've saved over 500 dogs 500 yes so there is a great need there is a very great need and they just they're such awesome dogs, but they're just not for everybody, and I think that's what people And understand. let's just touch on that. Why are these awesome dogs? You can train them to do anything. And they're loyal, they're protective, but I think that's part of the misconception is they don't love everybody right off the bat. They need a job to do, they need to be busy, they need to be stimulated, and a lot of people don't have the time or the patience or the means to give them what they need to be balanced dogs. Uber sensitive. So sensitive. Uber sensitive. I think that's a German saying. Uber, <laughs> as she's showing right here. To, to me, that's the best reason for uh, adopting a German Shepherd is, is certainly the love that they show towards people. And yeah, they're uh, great family dogs, but they pick one person that's their person. So they're they're single people dogs, but they they know great their family. family. They they love their families. That's too. awesome. Well, if you think that a German Shepherd might be right for you, please continue to keep checking back with their site and their Facebook page and uh, all this week on the Two Traveling Dogs website and the Two Traveling Dogs Facebook page. We're featuring beautiful dogs, beautiful German Shepherds like this so that you can see them and talk to them. See if a German Shepherd might be right for you because we always want to say, as Brickle and Digby remind me every day, please make rescues the breed of choice and we would also like to say please on the count of three to end this great silver nevada 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 <laughs> edition of stop hounding me we're going to give a great big in this case german shepherd how one two three oh! <laughs> what what he's a good girl